it's that time of year, time to organize yourself for next year. I have a system called a Do What Matters productivity system, and it has 108 templates with it. At the end of the show, I'll tell you how five lucky listeners can get it for free right now and how the rest of you can get a 50% discount. Now on with the show. Happy Wednesday. We're counting down the top episodes of 2017 on the 10 Minute Teacher. And today at number 13, we have something some of you may want to do to help the autistic child in your life travel. It's helping autistic students travel by making books with Brett Bigham. The 10 Minute Teacher Podcast with Vicki Davis. Every weekday, you'll learn powerful, practical ways to be a more remarkable teacher today. So today we're talking with Brett Bingham, Mr. B, Oregon Teacher of the Year 2014. And Brett, your love and passion has been kids with special needs for quite some time. And you work with older kids who have special needs. So I know today we're going to talk a little bit about a way that you helped kids with special needs kind of transition to other places. So give me an example of something you've done. I worked with uh, students who are ages um, 18 to 21 for quite a while. And a lot of my students um, had pretty severe autism. My classroom is a county level classroom. So I was only getting students if uh, the local district couldn't handle their health or their behavior. I had two full-time nurses in my room and very busy class. So what I started to discover was that when I took some of those kids with uh, severe autism out on a field trip, they were melting down. They really couldn't stand not knowing what was coming up. Yeah. So I kind of realized, well, if I need to fix that, instead of deciding, well, they shouldn't go on field trips, I decided I have to modify what I'm doing. So I started going the week before uh, to the event or the field trip that we were going on, and we went out every Friday. It was part of our program to get our students more used to being out in the community. So if we were going to ride on the Portland tram, I would go the weekend before, take pictures of every step. These are the stairs you go in. This Mm -hmm. is the door you open. This is the ticket machine, every mm-hmm. step they needed to do the field trip. Wow. I'd make a book, I'd print the pictures into a book, and then write all the steps. And then we would spend the week going over what was coming up. And they're similar to a social story, which a lot of people who work with autism will see, like, I'm going to the doctor, a trip to how, mm-hmm. how to go. And a step-by-step, but they're very generic. Yeah. And I needed specifics. I had to show the staircase they were going to walk up. Mm-hmm. I had to show them the signs they needed to look at to find the arrows of where to go. So I just started doing them in my own room. And after a while, uh, one of my students that that really needed these had uh, what's called severe uh, self-injurious behavior. So she would hit herself when she became upset. And it was so terrible to see. It was the worst, worst day of my career. The first time she had one of these episodes and, um, The year before I got her, she was sent home 34 times for that. Um, The first year I had her, uh, we had three incidences, and there were two of them were right at the beginning. And I started using the books. The next year, she had zero, and the next year, she had zero. And her family started going on vacations. They had never gone on a trip their entire Mm. life with her, and they were able to go to Hawaii. I made Mm. a book. I'm I'm going to Hawaii, and was able to go online and find picture vacation pictures from Mm -hmm. people and people take pictures of everything so I got the inside of the plane so I could show her a picture this is the plane you're going to go on and they were actually the Aloha Airlines uh, you know logos but a plane stuffed with people a lot of times you know you can get a picture of an airplane but it's empty and this was crammed full so she knew exactly what to expect Mm -hmm. and when her parents got back from the trip their life was changed absolutely changed they didn't have a single incident the whole time And now that student has graduated. And when I met her, it was someone, they were trying to figure out how they can make a life for this young lady that meant she never had to leave her house. And when she left me, she got a job and she goes to work five days a week. And her whole family's life is is changed from it. So how did, so you take the pictures, do you have a, a, 
technology you use to put these books together? I do it in two different ways. I, I make a printout version that you can just look at on your computer and print out. And then I use Microsoft Sway uh -huh. because they have a feature where I can record the book mm -hmm. and they, and that can also be used on the phone. So someone could take the phone and push a button and it will read it to them. I've just started recording them. I only have one of them done. I have 45 books at wow. this point. Can people get them online? Can they you give are, me a link? They are all online, but sadly, uh, most of them are, f they're only in places where I've been. Yeah. So I have quite a few books for Washington, D.C., because I'm mm -hmm. here for conferences. Portland, Oregon, where I'm from, they have a bunch of books. Um, last year, I was at the Enstroy Conference in Chicago. Mm -hmm. I went to the Chicago um, Art Institute. So they have a book. Mm -hmm. So it kind of depends where I go. But I go a lot of places these days. So I have a... And so they can tweet you to ask you to, uh, if they have a special request? Absolutely. You know, I would love to do that. Or I would help somebody in another state if they said, I really... I need to make this for my student. I would walk them through every step and then I'd hope they'd let me put them on my blog. Uh, it's mrbsclassroom.com okay. and they're all on there. And what's happened though, since I have had this opportunity to go out and speak, I've made books now for 11 countries. Yeah. So um, I'm starting to collect people to translate. So I have a, uh -huh. an Italian mom who has a son with autism and she's translating all the books I wrote for Italy into Italian. So, oh. so my outreach is I'll do it. I'll do the best I can, which is an English book on how to go to visit the Colosseum yeah. when I went to visit. But it's in English. So it helps somebody who speaks English who can go to the Colosseum. But this housewife is making it a tool for every person with autism in Italy. And that's my Love dream. This. So you have the book. You show it to the child. You talk it. So to describe what you do, once you have the book in hand. When you're sitting down, are you sitting down one on one with a child for this? I've done both, you know, with the whole classroom showing them. And then, I'll, you know, I'll sit with the student and we'll just go page by page. And I'm like, this is, you know, I read the book to them and point at the picture and say, we're going to go here. And these are the stairs that we're going to go up. And you don't need to be worried about that. And in the books, I always focus on this is a safe place, stay with your group. But I always show pictures, at least one in every book, I think, of someone sitting down on a chair somewhere where I just say, if it gets to be too much, you can sit down and rest for a minute. Oh. You don't need to get upset. Just have a minute, take a moment, have a seat. And, um, and you show them a place that they can sit. Exactly. Oh, so, so you're giving them a, an out. You're saying, okay, in, in some ways it's metacognition. Okay. I realize I'm getting tired. So I'm going to ask to go sit over here. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and that way they don't have to stress out because someone doesn't understand what they want. They yeah. can show me in the book. I'm ready to sit down. Um, uh. It gives them a way to communicate back or to maybe even ask a simple type of question about. This is genius. I mean, it's just beautiful. Well, it's not genius. It's so, you know, once I realized that these, these people who have such a, that th autism comes in so many different shades yeah. and varieties. And, but the people who have that fear of the unknown and the transition problems, um, w once I, you know, I just took a moment to sit down and say, well, how do I fix that? And it was a simple fix. Well, they just need to know. Yeah. But I had to figure out a way to get them to know. And, you know, I feel sorry for my friends. I'm always, my, my poor partner, I'm tricking them. Hey, let's go have breakfast downtown. Yeah. And then while we're down there, hey, while we're here, let's go down over the tram. I need to take some pictures. Yeah. So they're, you know, all my friends have been in books. And, of course, they always say, okay, how do you say no to that? Yeah, because I'm going to help a child who really needs the help. Absolutely. So what do you call the books? I call them ability guidebooks. Ability guidebooks. So teachers, this is a remarkable idea. Ability guidebooks for those with autism or transition issues. And, you know, there's lots of kids who could benefit from this. I'll include the blog um, so you can go there. What do you want to add something? You were saying other students. I, I had never thought about that. I was thinking of my own kids at first. And what I started to get were messages from kindergarten and first grade teachers saying we were going on a field trip to the art museum. And I used your book to show my eight year olds mm -hmm. exactly how to behave in the museum. And, and it makes a world of difference because they see what's expected beforehand. Mm -hmm.
So sometime back, I put together the Do What Matters productivity system along with all of those templates that I have made over the years from being a mom to being a teacher and just all of these different forms that I have made myself to use. So if you go to coolcatteacher.com forward slash productivity, it will take you to my Gumroad store. And the first five people who go there and use the code FREE will get the productivity system for free. It usually costs $9.95. Now, if you are late, just use the code podcast and I'll give the next 50 podcast listeners a 50% discount on anything in the store, including the Do What Matters productivity system, my substitute teacher manual, education technology tutorial videos, and other things. I hope you enjoy. Thank you for listening to the 10-Minute Teacher Podcast. You can download the show notes and see the archive at coolcatteacher.com forward slash podcast. Never stop learning.